Hey everybody, welcome to another video, just a quick update video. I uh, just wanted to kind of let everybody know what's going on with my work schedule and everything. Um, everyone knows about my army life, but that's with the National Guard. My National Guard life is only one weekend a month and then a couple weeks out of the year for, for more extended training. So what do I do otherwise? I have a day job. Uh, it's I'm a government records clerk, or at least I was a government records clerk. I'll get into that in a moment. Um, I, I shuffle papers for the U.S. federal government, and it, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's really boring. It's really dull. And I like it. I like the job. I got the job shortly after I came back from Iraq. And the idea of doing something really dull and boring and predictable really, really appealed to me after being in Iraq, you can probably imagine. But but anyhow, so I've been working this job for for like several, several years now. And I had a supervisor who was a doofus. She was, she was an idiot. But she finally retired. And <laughs> she finally retired and I applied for her position and I got it. So I'm now this big supervisor. Yeah, big important supervisor. Um, and now I have to take all these classes on how to be a supervisor, on things like managing timesheets, uh, how to go over policy papers, uh, how to, uh, you know, run like reports and stuff on missing files, missing paperwork, uh, yeah, just all kinds of stuff, you know, and, and then of course, you know, the usual ticket punching stuff like uh, how to handle EO complaints or, or something like that. So I have to do all this training, I have to do all this supervisor stuff. But, to make it even more exciting, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they haven't filled my, my clerk job. The, the job that I vacated to become a supervisor is still open. And not only that, but that job is supposed to be like one of two people. They're supposed to be a clerk and a partner. There's two clerks and one supervisor. I've been promoted from clerk to supervisor and I have no one to supervise. <clears throat> so. I still have to do the job of two clerks, and I have to do all this supervisor stuff. Now, eventually we're going to hire some more people, and that's that's great. You know, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to hire some more people. I have to train them. And eventually I will get all this training, this supervisor training, done. But in the meantime, <laughs> it's a real time squeeze, and I have to do all this, all this stuff. And while I was just an ordinary, boring clerk, I actually had, a, I, I could get a couple of hours of downtime every day in my job, and I started using that downtime doing some comics, and a little comic work here, it wasn't much, I was just, you know, updating scripts and maybe doing some, some hand art and stuff, you know, the, you know, the penciling, but I didn't realize how much I'd come to rely on that and depend on that, and now it's gone, <laughs> so I have to squeeze in art whenever I can, so all this cool extra stuff I was doing, uh, some like Star Wars characters or game characters or just experimenting, uh, I have to put it all aside. I really just have to concentrate on busting out Bohica Blues. I'm still trying to do some of the uh, Empire stuff. I'm trying to do some of the Vox Noctum stuff, but I'm in a real time crunch right now. So. We'll see. I was on a pretty good roll because I, I came out of Gem State Comic Con with a lot of creative energy, uh, looking forward to doing more stuff. You know, the, the last couple of years, conventions were shut down because of COVID, and it was really annoying. I, I was looking forward to getting back into the swing of things and getting back to the conventions and doing a lot of extra art that I'd, I'd put off. You know, and then, gosh darn it, I had to go and get promoted. So... <laughs> Um, but like I said, this is, this is just kind of a temporary squeeze. It'll pass. I'm going to continue to keep up with my schedule as best I can. It's just some of the cool little extras I was squeezing in on the side uh, I'm not going to be able to do. But Bohica Blues, all that stuff is going to keep on rolling. Every now and again, I might get time to do, a, you know, like an Empire's character sketch or something, and I'll try to squeeze that in. And I've got, I've got a few other things, old stuff that I've kept kept in reserve that I might I might deploy we'll see but uh, other than that yeah right now it's it's a real squeeze at the job I've got a big 
um, leadership academy coming up with my National Guard thing. I'm going to be gone all of July. I'll be able to work on comics a bit, but again, it's, it's, it's a time squeeze. And then when I come back from that training, I come back to my records supervisor job for the government, and I guarantee you everything is going to be a train wreck there. So, you know, I'll have to do some damage mitigation when I get back. But I just wanted to let people know I haven't, you know, I haven't checked out or anything. If it, I, I've got all the, I've got a lot of creative ideas, and I just I can't get them out because I just don't have time. So if you see me kind of slowing down a little bit or kind of not really engaging that much, it's it's just that it's just temporary. Yeah, so it's nothing else. But uh, I'm going to keep doing the best I can because in the long run, that's all any of us can do. We just keep doing the best we can and uh, keep trying. And uh, yeah, once we're through it all, once we're through all the stress and the trouble, you know, we'll come out, we'll come out better for it. So anyhow, that's the update. I wish it was good news. It's kind of okay news. I mean, it's good news for me because I've you know gotten this promotion and stuff. But you know, I'm, I'm taking this this training with the National Guard, which is actually something I've been looking forward to for a couple of years. But uh, it just means that there's going to be a bit of a time crunch. Uh, the summer of 2022 is going to be it's going to be a, a bottleneck. But but hang in there. I'm going to hang in there. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to keep keep making stuff. Um, keep coming to, I mean, there's plenty of room on Patreon. Join the Adventure Pack over on Patreon. And, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep exploring, we'll keep adventuring, and we'll keep creating new things together. So, but thank you for your support so far. Uh, thank you for being there. Thank you for just listening. And, uh, I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later with another, with another video and, and let you know how things stand. So, all right. Thank you.